If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside, to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Albert Einstein said, technological progress is like an ax in the hands of a pathological criminal. It took me a while, but I finally see his point. How often have we chased the dream of progress only to see it perverted? More often than not, haven't the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. How many times in the call of duty did I almost fall into the trap of taking shortcuts, abusing my abilities or the resources at hand? I resisted. Barely at times, because I valued human lives and considerations. Can I truly despise others who fall? Technology offers us strength. Strength enables dominance, and dominance paves the way for abuse. Darrow understood this. He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely the seed for change. And change never comes without pain. You worry too much, Morgan. There's nothing we can't manage, given time. She's here. I have to cut this short. Keep going through the wreckage. Maybe we'll find something we can use for the Morpheus Initiative. Come in! Dr. Reed! We're so pleased you decided to join us. Where else could I go? No regrets, my dear. As Ariadne told Theseus before he entered the Minotaur's Labyrinth, always forward, never left or right. You'll be very interested in our current project. We're breaking new ground. Yes, the nanite virus chimera is quite intriguing. I'm looking forward to seeing the hybrid project up close, Mr. Page. And so you shall. But please, call me Bob. <laughs>